Hey everybody, my name is Jamie. I run a channel called the Enigmatic Pneumatics YouTube channel. Some of you guys know me and have watched the channel for a long time. Some of you may have just come here because you want to fig figure out how to fill these little green bottles. And so I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get through this fast because I know if I wanted to fill a green bottle, I wouldn't want a bunch of hubbub. I'd want to just cut to the chase. And so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'll be talking fast and accelerating this for that purpose. But I also want it to be thorough, and you may not have all the tools that I have, so we're going to talk about different things that you can uh, use in your environment to get the job done. What we're going to fill are the little green bottles that uh, you buy at the store that aren't really built to be refilled, but we can do it. There's a lot of ways to skin the cat. I know you're going to come down into the comments and say you have a better way. Man, go for it. If you guys have a way to do this already, go for it. I've tried different types of... Uh, methods and this is what works best for me uh for after years of filling these up we've got the ones you buy at the store bear in mind you can refill these but there's a little valve in here i want to call it a schrader valve i don't know if it is it's got a stem inside of it it kind of looks like the kind on your uh, bicycle back the old school bicycles that's not a presta but you got a little valve in here you can pull out to release uh the the pressure inside this to fill it with the propane now you're going to be able to fill this up and spray some soapy water on it to see if the, you get any bubbles. If you have bubbles, then that little needle inside there didn't seat. And you might be able to pull it up and pop it and get it to seat. The point I'm making with these things is, yes, you can refill them. But how many times you can refill them is going to be subject to a lot of different factors. You know, they're going to wear out over time. I just want you to go in knowing this isn't a permanent 100 times, 200 times thing. But you can refill them. So we're going to do it. And then the other bottles that we're going to refill are made by Flame King. And I'll put links in the bottom, affiliate links from YouTube. You can find these wherever you can find them. If you click my links uh, in the description, then you'll be sent over to Amazon where you can pick them up there. And I make a little bit on that sale, but it doesn't cost you anymore. It's up to you where you get this stuff. I'm just explaining to you what it is and how to fill them. So you got Flame Kings made to be refilled. Once from the store, not to be, uh, made to be refilled, but you can. You're going to use a little buddy heater or whatever kind of heater you have. Now, one concern about filling these things is we have to turn this propane tank upside down to do it. And it always works best if you have a full tank or half a tank. If you're down to just a little bit, there's not going to be that much pressure. And so it's going to affect how you how well these things, things can be refilled. See this nice little stand I got? Flame King, I'll put notes in the uh, description, but you could also set it on the table and use uh, an adapter. It's, it's called a Schnozzle, that's a brand name. There's a bunch of them out there. We're gonna do something that's a little more sophisticated than that because I've fought with the little Schnozzles in the past and I wanna go with the way that I like to do it the most. It costs a little upfront money, but uh, you get a kit from Flame King and I'm gonna try to put a filter in between these tanks. It's something I've never tried before. This is a filter that comes from uh, Little Buddy. You can get them at Walmart for 10 bucks. I'll put a link in the notes for where you can get one on Amazon if you want. But we'll see if we can filter it because we're turning it upside down. And if there's any sediment in here, there's gonna be uh, some kind of likelihood that it could find its way into the bottle and then clog the orifice on the valve in your heating uh, device whatever appliance you have for that never tried this let's see if it works so the first thing I'm gonna do is put this on get this as tight as you can get it because there's a little there's a little valve inside of here that you gotta pierce to make the propane come out. And so it's gotta be really tight. Next thing I'm gonna do where I would attach the, the bottle is I'm gonna try to attach the filter. So far, so good. Now let's try a green tank that you'd buy at the store. And I'm not gonna have the room to do it, so I've gotta raise this up. With the filter in place, I'm fighting to have enough room, so I'm just gonna shim it. I 
I could hang this off the side of the table, but I'd be out of the shot. You're not filming. Hang it off the side of the table. No big deal. Now I'm going to attach my green bottle. When these things come filled, they leave a little bit of room inside of them for expansion, heat expansion. There's also a valve on them that we're using to relieve the pressure that acts as a relief valve if they are over pressurized and they get really hot and they need a way to uh, relieve that pressure. But uh, instead of filling it all the way, we can leave a little bit of space. Now the way we're gonna do that is I'll tilt this thing up a little bit and I'm gonna put the relief valve at an angle. If I put it all the way to the top, it's going to fill all the way to the top. But I'll put it at an angle so it'll start spitting out propane before the, it's uh, all the way full. Now on these ones you buy from the store, you can use some needle nose pliers if that's all you have. If you have some that are curved a little bit, they'll work better. That's what I did in my last video. Since then I've learned that hemostats work the best. There'll be a link in my description on how to get those. But you can also get them from other places too, such as maybe a uh, sportsman's warehouse that sells fishing equipment to make fishing flies and things like that. They might have something like this. Let's go ahead and fill this thing up. I turn my propane on. Grab the stem. Hook it. I gotta hook it just right. And as I'm hooking this little delicate stem, it's marring it up. Over time, it's going to mar it up to the point that it's going to be hard to get a hold of. That's what I'm saying about they'll wear out. I've pulled it out. And now I'm going to fill it. This propane's gonna be cold. If it's gonna be blowing on your hands, you might wanna wear gloves. I just get out of the way. Looks like it's pretty full. It's starting to spit out some uh, propane, liquid propane, so I'm gonna say that we're good on this. The filter idea was Ron's. You know Ron from a couple of van builds. Uh, he suggested we try this, and I think it's a good idea. They're, they're like 10, 11 bucks. I can tell by the weight of this. I don't have a scale, but I can tell by the weight of this. This is full. You, come, come on the screen and see if you what you think. I want you guys to meet Ron anyway. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it feels pretty good. So, nice thing about it is, if you got that much, you could just fill it more often. And what's the price difference between buying one of those and filling it up with one of these off the top of your head? Probably a buck for the raw cost for the fuel. Three to four bucks on this, depending on how you get them on sale. Yeah. So and if you're in a small, if 25%. you're on, yeah, it's pretty good. If you're on a small town, such as like you're in Bryce Canyon, camping up uh, or in Moab, these things are going to be four or five dollars a piece. And we probably filled that thing for a dollar. I mean, do the math yourself on uh, fifteen dollars uh, to fill this thing up and how many uh, one pound tanks you're gonna get out of it, considering that they don't put 20 pounds in it. You know, they, they back off a little bit for expansion. Now let's cut to the chase and get one of the, the Flame King ones filled. Again, I wanna keep this, I know how it is when you're looking for stuff online and you just wanna figure out what's going on. I like these Flame Kings because it's more of a permanent solution and they're the recycling on them is a lot longer. I don't know how long it takes to wear them out because I haven't worn them out yet. Did my marring that up? Give me this. This one doesn't even have a way to um, not fill it all the way. They don't. They don't care on this one. On the Flame King, the valve to relieve the, the gas is at the top, so they're not really worried about how much you fill it. Use your own judgment on this. I'm not telling you how to do anything. I'm showing you how I do it, by the way. Let's go ahead and, and uh, loosen this.
Starting to get some, some propane out of there, so I'm gonna tighten that up. This thing's full. I'm gonna put the little protective cap on it that's provided from Flame King, which also makes these stackable. Just always careful with the threads. Make sure you're not cross-threading anything. So there you have it. We filled a one pound Flame King and a one pound garden variety green bottle from a 20 pound tank with uh, the equipment that I picked up from Flame King. You can also use a, a schnozzle or an adapter. There's uh, my previous video shows you how to do that. Look at the uh, button up there and click that and it'll show you. But uh, since I've gotten this, uh, it's the way to go for me. Thanks for watching.